Welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans, coming to you today from the High Ground Compound. If you saw the last video, you know what I'm up to down here, but if not, I'll fill you in real quick. So as you know, I got the uh, driveway in in a circle drive that goes around this way. Today, I have been working on a driveway and a location for the new cabin. I'll show you what this cabin's gonna look like. So what I've been doing, I took out a couple red pine, uh, smaller white pine, bigger white pine. I saved the uh, saw logs. I got them loaded up in the dump trailer. But my road's going to come back in this way. And then somewhere back in here, I got a giant hole right here to fill in where that uh, big white pine came down at. That cabin's going to be situated somewhere right in there. What I may even do, I've got four little white pines. One, two, three, four. I might take those out, leave that big one there, that big one over there. And right where those four pines are sitting will be kind of the patio area behind the cabin. I had a pretty good day today. I'm actually a little ahead of schedule. I rented this excavator for two days, and then next week sometime I'll get a skid loader down here and get this all stoned. I have a uh, giant pile of uh, brush and debris right over there. It's not as bad as it looks. That's the top of that big white pine that I dropped. But I'll keep adding to that pile. I'm not going to do anything with it right now. It's out of the way. I'll deal with it in the spring. Uh, that pine with all the dirt mixed in with it, that stuff will rot pretty quick, so I may not do anything with it, we'll have to see. But right now I'm gonna get back on the excavator and keep cleaning my way up that road. I'll root this big stump out of here, uh, backfill that hole, and get things shaped up. And then tomorrow morning, I'll probably only have five or six small trees to take down. All right, I'll see if we can't uh, knock some more dirt off this big stump and we'll roll this thing out of here. I don't think I'll be able to pick this one up yet. Maybe if I grab it from the side. Try to get as much of the uh, woody stuff out of there as I can. This isn't right where the cabin's going to sit, but this will be part of the driveway. But these big stump holes, they are, uh, they can cause a problem if you don't get them backfilled right. Because what happens, you know, say I'd have a heavy rain right here in the next day or two, it just wants to collect in these holes a little bit and it stays soft. So I try to get it uh, backfilled and actually humped up a little bit on top until it settles down a bit. Although this stuff does actually compact halfway decent.
All right, things are shaping up pretty nice. I've got the uh, road roughed in all the way up to here. Got all these trees out of here. Tomorrow, what I'll do, I'll take those four smaller white pines down, and I got two dead ones over here to take out. Now, where this road is, there's going to be more material to come out of here because it's going to have probably uh, six inches of stone on top of it. And, you know, finished grade will just be slightly higher than the sides of the road.
She's down. definitely the last one to come down I don't have much room behind me here hopefully just enough yeah we should be all right That's it, last tree, which is probably a good thing. I haven't checked the weather. I thought it was supposed to be nice all day today, but uh, it's definitely getting real cloudy real quick, so I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Right, we just got everything finished up for the day we'll do a little walk through I'll show you everything we got done uh, first off I got a nice jag of uh, white pine here in the back of the dump trailer this will be a pretty good uh, load on the grocery getter there's a few big ones in here like this one right here but even those smaller ones right there as straight as they are you can get a lot of lumber out of those but boy the uh, wind is really picking up down here Something I want to mention is pretty amazing to me. I don't know how many hours I ran this uh, machine the last day and a half, but I only used about nine gallons of diesel fuel. Maybe eight and a half, but maybe, you know, nine gallons at the most, which is incredible for the amount of work that I got done. I probably took down, I don't even know, a bunch of trees, digging all those stumps, cleaning everything up. But yeah, it's pretty impressive. Very, very fuel efficient. But as you can see, this is the driveway back here. The way I see it, the cabin will sit somewhere right over in here, have a nice little parking spot out in front of it. You'll even be able to pull up here, back over beside the cabin. And like I mentioned a few times before, if we were to build something else down the road, the road would continue on out. So the cabin will sit somewhere right in here, have that balcony up here, looking out that way. Back there in the back will be a fire ring and a patio, looking back into the hardwoods. And speaking of the hardwoods, I've never even walked over here. So we're gonna take a little stroll over here and uh, see what's over here. I see a really nice cherry tree over here for starters. I think it is. Yeah, this is a this is a nice one right here. At least it looks like it is. That is a monster cherry tree right there. I don't know. I'm no expert on this, but it, it's kind of hard to see on camera maybe, but you can see a bunch of little like waves in the bark. That could even be like a curly cherry. 
I don't know. I'll keep my eye on this one for sure. There's actually a lot of nice cherry over in here, but cherry maple. Uh, I saw a few white oaks. Gets pretty rocky over in this area here. There's probably only, I don't know, we probably only got about six or seven acres of the hardwoods. And the rest is uh, red and white pine. You can see up in there, you get back into the red pine over there about 100 yards. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice over here. Like I said, this is the first I have been over here. But there are rocks everywhere. All the way up through here, I see some real big boulders over there sticking out of the ground. One thing that was nice, a lot of people have been asking this question, uh, the main property, everything down there, at one point that used to be a farm field, probably in the 40s. And lucky for me, someone back then collected all those rocks. There's a couple different big rock piles that we found. And then once they quit farming, I think it was some government program or something where they uh, were going around planting a bunch of pine trees. Yeah, there's rock everywhere up through here. But boy, that's a, that's a nice cherry tree right there. Whew. That's a dandy. All in all, this is just a really cool piece of property. I mentioned before, you know, we were looking for something for years and it had to be the right piece of property and the right price. And I just stumbled upon this one night on the internet. Actually, it was a different piece, the one down on the corner, a 10 acre piece, and it was already under agreement. But I got to talking to the realtor and there were several different family members. It was a whole thing. But I was able to come look at it, make an offer that we were very happy with, and uh, it all worked out. But anyway, the sun's coming back out. I wasn't sure there for a little bit, but I think we're going to wrap this video up. I'm going to hop in the truck and head home. I appreciate y'all being here, and I will catch you on the next one.